Hey, what is up everyone? This is Shupolex Kushakos. This is yet another one of my commentaries. It's a post commentary because uh, by the time I was done watching the matches, and by the way, Holland versus Mexico, absolutely amazing. What an epic match. What a come from behind victory. Congrats, Nedis. I am really impressed. Anyway, so uh, I was done watching the matches, and by the time I had, uh, you know, I had some uh, spare time left uh, to record. Uh, a commentary or a gameplay I just couldn't like record a live commentary because I would be waking up my entire family so yeah I just recorded the gameplay and I'm doing a voiceover listen up uh, you all know but about one week ago I created a new hero it was it was like you know huh Battlefield Heroes uh, fifth birthday B birthday fifth f fifth <laughs> fifth birthday and hmm, I was like caught up in the moment I decided hmm premium account is there a free jacket. Who doesn't like a free jacket? By the way, it is only a reskin. Once again, you didn't work too hard, easy. You are lazy as always. Okay, anyway, so I decided to buy a premium account and test it out on uh, a newly created hero. A gunner. You know, rocking that clan war setup. Long range machine gun, long range shotgun. Golden crits. Yeah, golden crits. Golden crits for the win. I mean, I am critting all the time. I'm almost all the time. So it is pretty. It is pretty, pretty epic. <laughs> pretty epic. <laughs> pretty epic. Uh, anyway, so I, I I started to play on this hero, and boy, oh my, oh my God. Uh, I was I wasn't expecting any challenges early on. Maybe some, you know, some of my friends joining me at high levels and yeah there were some people who were joining me on all level 30 heroes just to hunt me down obviously they got immediately removed from my friend list and um, one of them was like killing me all the time he begging me and i was like hey you know what i'm gonna be removing you from my friends list how about that okay uh, he was like huh it's worth it and, uh, it's worth it's worth killing me and he begging me like what the hell seriously polish kids uh, but anyway, I started playing uh, on this hero and uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting any challenges, but I was incredibly wrong. Boy, was I wrong, because uh, there were some huge obstacles in almost each server I joined. And I am talking about people whose aiming is so impeccable that there, there is definitely something wrong about that aiming of them. And I'm obviously talking about people who are using aimbots hacks or whatever the hell you want to call it uh, I I just I, I, have, I have absolutely no idea what is going on right now probably it's because you know holiday season is about to start actually it's already started and all those little kids who would be most likely I mean I, I'm pretty much expecting that hackers are not very uh, are not very talented at anything but probably like really bad at school or something like it they are probably having like to uh, retake certain subjects and so on now since they uh, finally got that holiday period on, okay, period on, <laughs> they are on a period, <laughs> whatever. Well, since they are on that holiday period, uh, now they have enough free time to like break almost every game, uh, ruin it for me and for other people as well. And almost every server I join has a hacker in it. Sometimes it, it gets it, it gets so ridiculous that uh, I have two or three hackers in one server. And no, it is not me being paranoid. I can tell if someone is hacking, blatantly hacking, like shooting people from like... Oh, you, you, you get the deal, okay? You get the deal. But the, but the bottom line is, there is such a huge influx of hackers that sometimes after like 30 minutes of trying to play... I'm trying to level up this hero, okay? That uh, XP boost only lasts uh, 28 days or 30 days, I don't even remember. And I have to use it. And I am not able to enjoy myself while playing, even against low levels, okay, which is very easy and relaxing. Boring, but relaxing. Because I keep getting frustrated by those hackers. I'm always at a point of being paranoid. I, I, I'm Sometimes I, I'm, I'm joining a server and I'm like scared. I, I'm just immediately checking out the scoreboard just to see if some, someone is like way ahead of, of, of his team in terms of uh, the score because then I know that it's probably a uh, another hacker okay basically and uh, you know it's it's getting really ridiculous and uh, <laughs> on the forums you know people are complaining about it and obviously Iron Soldier, or whatever the hell his name is, is always closing down those threads, saying that they are, you know, not very, 
uh, not very constructive and blah blah blah, but we, but we are complaining about the, the same exact thing, it's not gonna help and so on, okay, well, whatever, dude. But recently there has been a thread, actually a couple of threads, about this one guy. One guy who was like, a ho you know, the situation with him is basically, is basically the most holy shit moment I have experienced in the past few days, in terms of hackers. The guy is like uh, number 15 on the leaderboards. He keeps changing his name, so I'm not gonna be even able to uh, to name to name him. I'm gonna provide you with a couple of links where you can see uh, his handiwork, and uh, you can tell me if he's hacking or not. But I am pretty sure that he's hacking. I mean, it's it's actually blatantly obvious. So the guy is very high up on the leaderboards right now. He has like 46 million points to his name. He's definitely hacking. It's so obvious that he is hacking. Yet. Without, you know, despite the fact that there is some pretty strong evidence, you know, uh, basically showing that the guy is very fishy. Uh, yeah, I, you have to be dumb not to say that he is hacking. Despite that evidence, despite the fact that there is something definitely off about his statistics and so on, you are not doing anything. The guy is bas basically laughing off every like, huh. Every guy who is like, huh, I'm recording you, you're gonna get reported and you're gonna get banned. Uh, yeah, I dare you to do it, try to report me, you have nothing on me. And he's basically laughing everything off because he knows he's not gonna get punished. And hell, he's not getting punished, he's not getting punished at all. A guy with 46 million points is getting away with hacking. What the hell is, what the hell? Seriously, what the hell? Is, is it so hard for easy to like... Just, just make an example of one hacker, okay? One prolific hacker. Just, just you know, it, 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 how how difficult it, it it might be. I don't think it is, okay? And you know, I was thinking, I was thinking. About one year ago, we had this guy on the Polish uh, commentary, uh, you know, commentary scene, Battlefield Heroes scene. Uh, he was recording Battlefield Heroes uh, without any patch. I mean, you could see, you could see that the guy was, so, you know, uh, after after the views and and so on. He had no passion for the game, and uh, you know, after being a commentator, after a brief stint as a commentator for the uh, uh, Nations Cup, uh, we decided not to invite him anymore because he was uh, acting in a weird way, in an erratic manner, and we kicked him off. So uh, a couple of days later, he creates his own clan. Okay, and after a f after a few weeks, it turned out that the whole clan was basically like a fan group of his. They were like, uh, you know, he was asking them uh, to like uh, like his videos. Uh, you remember how I mentioned those ref links, where you, will, uh, where you are clicking on the ref link and the guy who gives you the ref link is getting the money for you registering to a game. He was asking those kids to do it for him and so on. And after a couple of weeks, it turned out that the whole clan that he created was basically a huge stink hole. I mean, the place was reeking of hackers, people with GGC bands, stat patterns, and so on. It was like, it was borderline pathologic. And uh, despite the fact that there were many hackers in that group, okay, despite their bad reputation, he was accepting everyone into that group. And when we were pointing out to him that there is, that those people are not very repu reputable. He was like getting angry, you know, and saying, ah, get away from me, you, you cannot create your own clan, you are jealous, ah, ah, you are ignorant, ah. you know, despite the fact that we are pointing out that there is something clearly wrong with that clan, with that clan of his, he was adamant about not kicking people from it, because, you know, oh, they can behave, and blah, blah, blah. he was like making excuses why he wouldn't kick them, and so on, and, you know, at the end of the day, uh, Basically, what it looked like, he was desperate. He was desperate to get those uh, get those likes under his videos, to get those kids to uh, you know click on his referral links and uh, you know get him some money. And you know, I'm starting to think. Do you think uh, that there is some link between that guy and what Easy is doing right now? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Look at it. You have a blatant hacker on top of the leaderboard. The guy, you can see, you can see in the video, he's probably a huge spender, okay? He's buying tonics, weapons, outfits, and all that crap. He, you can say that he is a huge spender. 
I am just wondering if they are protecting the hackers because hackers are also like for that guy one year before basically making money for easy like uh, seriously I'm just uh, I'm just curious about it what do you think about it is there some you know are they given a, a leeway basically are they like letting hackers go they are letting the, uh, those hackers fly by because they know that even a even though you are a hacker and you are clearly uh, you know you are not uh, adhering to the rules of the game in terms of conduct even though you are doing that okay even though you are doing that you are still a spender you are still spending money on the game and you are basically you know a source of income for easy do you think do you seriously think that there is some correlation between that uh, what what Easy is doing or actually not doing for two years for almost two years it has been almost two years since uh, Easy stopped banning hackers I don't recall one situation where they would be like huh, oh this guy is stat padding this guy is doing that this guy is doing this let's ban him because there is some serious evidence on him right now you can present uh, uh, Easy with a ton of evidence and, th and they will not lift a finger just. Whatever the case is, they will never ban a hacker. And seriously, I'm so, I'm starting to think: is that is that like is that like on purpose, just to protect uh, an, another source of income? Are they that desperate to get some cash, but they don't even care about banning people who don't deserve to play this game because they are breaking the rules and they are ruining a, a fun for other players? I'm seriously wondering about that. Or maybe is it because they just don't care anymore? Quite frankly, looking at the recent deal of, deals of the day, recent updates, uh, a, you know, with a bunch of glitches in them, uh, you can you can definitely say that it's not like they are just lazy. They just don't care anymore, and maybe it's it's like them not caring anymore. And uh, seriously, I, I think it is, is one of the part one one part of them not banning hackers is them they, them basically not caring about us and us having fun in the game. But, you know, other than that, I am seriously starting to, to, to consider that option I just gave you. They are protecting the hackers because hackers are a source of income for them. So t tell me, do you think that uh, I have something here, that I am onto something? Because you know, uh, lately, you know, I, I, I may be say, uh, sounding like a uh, USM uh, right here, but it, it seriously seems like, like it. I mean, what the hell? Uh, I, I just don't even know what to say anymore. Uh, I, I invite you for, uh, to discuss this topic in the comment section and uh, I guess I'm gonna be seeing you next time, okay? And uh, by, by the way, please teabag every hacker you kill in the game. Please do it. Take care, guys. Yo, see you later.